<laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's episode of the Yacht Yacht Show. It may not be much to it, but I got an hour and a half drive to Kemper County to pick up some spotted hogs. Oh, I usually don't go that far, an hour and a half from the house, but if I have uh, some big hogs or a lot of hogs, it, it, it pays for itself if that makes sense. But the guy told me, he said, these hogs don't act right, and they didn't act right. The big hog wouldn't act right. So finally, I got, you know, I'm just trying to help this, I'm just trying to help this family out, but oh, I've, I've already committed. So I gotta go get the trap because I got another big spot I need to go to here in, in my town. But I ain't done with this place. But let's get in the truck. It's five o'clock in the morning, I believe. And it's about an hour and a half there. So we'll pick up at the gate because it's going to be dark the whole way until we get there. And uh, let's go see about these spotted hogs and see how it goes. Dogs are fed. So, let's roll. Well, you know, guys, uh-oh, uh -oh. got a different gate there. Oh, finally, y'all can see a little different view of what I got going on. Oh, my back still that hour and a half ride. Anyway, if you're new here, or if you ain't, just remember. <laughs> When you see the gates, the head not gonna wait. Well, let's go enjoy some of this hill country right here. We got a bunch of ups and downs and all around. Kinda just wanna take take a ride let y'all take the ride with me so you'll know it's a little bit different than what i'm used to i mean it's got a nice little road in it but uh we're, we're still going down and we'll be going up here in a minute so uh, or, or will we i can't will we? oh yeah we go up here see we went down now we gotta go up this hill Get a little goose. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, it's just oh. always a bumpy road, though. If you can look out across there. Try not to get too much wind in the phone. Oh. A little shooting house right there. You can kind of see down in there. Got them a little food flight. Gonna put them a little food flight right there. Can't see too good over there. I don't know. There you go. There's a good view. Looking down in that old holler. Then we're gonna go back down that hill over there. Now y'all know I always gotta have some more rickety breeze, don't we? <laughs> I think it's a pretty good breeze though. Pretty good bridge. Like I said, just taking y'all along with me. Mm. Please on up to these woods right here. Now I'm gonna pull up here in a minute, make sure my 22 is reloaded good from the last time we caught hogs over at my buddy uh, Mason's place. Oh, you never know oh, if I remember to do it or not. I don't know if it helps with the lights on or off. But got a little old dip right here. Ugh. A little old dip. Mm. Look right here, guys. Look right, ugh. Look right here. I know. I get y'all drunk riding around with me. We don't even drink. <laughs> Just kind of give you an overview. I gotta go through to get here. It's a long ways too. I can show it all. I was just hoping. Ugh. I was just hoping I had this old spot. I was gonna show you. 
Ooh. Ooh. Yes, no. Yeah. Yeah. Got a tree right in the road. Had to be careful about going on this thing. Make sure I don't head back there. Right. What I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna stop right here. I ain't gotta go much further than around a corner and go and we'll come out on the hall. But I wanna make sure that 22 is ready. And uh, just in case. Don't make a noise up there. Think we'll be good there. And uh, oh yeah, we ready. Here we go, guys. These little hogs, they're a little bit bigger than I thought they would. Bit. Yeah. I'll just calm down over there. Am I trying to hurt y'all? Well, I, well, I'm lying. I, I am I'm trying to hurt y'all in a minute, but you won't feel it. Oh, that's a good one. Well, it's a little bit quieter down here. Now, I'll have to cover up on them white and red ones and all that. That blood shows a little bit more. Y'all know I can't show all that just yet. And I ain't ready to go in black and white, but I will when time comes. But I wanted to show you. First thing I want to show you, I didn't have no service down here, so it's hard. Usually, I put my little antenna on top of this thing right here. Well, also, Hall Guy and them, they have, a, they have this contraption right here. It's like an old flagpole, and that thing will go up to 30 feet way up yonder so it gave me the service i needed to trap these pigs now what were we doing in kemper county why would i trap an hour and a half away well the deal was there was two big hogs in this area and i wanted to catch them but hey it just didn't work out i didn't catch the big hogs but i gotta take this trap this is just a deal where i was gonna help them out because i really wanted to catch those big boar hogs but it, it just didn't work out uh like I wanted. I need that big boar hog to eat with this group, but I want to catch this group. I got a bunch of sows in here. So uh, anyway, and check out, you see, check out that. That's a hog proof deer feeder if I ever seen one. I don't believe the hog's gonna knock that in over. But anyway, y'all know what I gotta do. I gotta take everything down and uh, try to figure out what I'm gonna do with these hogs and then figure out how we're gonna get this trailer loaded up right over there just stuff like that just everyday normal stuff that we got to do but boy i tell you what them hogs is kind of rough they they didn't want to play around too much did they want they want to rustle but uh so anyways let's get it and figure it out and uh, uh i think i got enough corn sacks right here <laughs> oh anyhow's right well here's your spotted hogs man all lined up looking nice Oh, man. Whew. Oh. 
anyway, I'm gonna get these things loaded up and, uh, or I'm gonna get the trap loaded up, the hogs loaded up, I'm gonna get it all loaded up and we're gonna move these hogs to a spot where the buzzards can eat. I'm too far from home to get them and uh, to somebody, but we'll just recycle them in the life of uh, the wildlife. So anyway, it's a jungle out here or bottom, but any which way. Uh, man, it's a little bit of work, but uh, it's what I do, baby. It's what I do and I thank y'all for being here, so. that thing is. Mm -mm. Whoa! <laughs> it's scared the mess out of me. <laughs> uh, I ain't scared the devil out of me. Trying to back this trailer up. Watch out and make sure I don't hit nothing, boss. We're gonna go and take that down. Like I said, that pole up there's got that antenna on it. Connects to that whole guy camera system, which is live feed, which y'all know how all that works. But a lot of people don't. They're always asking like, what camera do I use? But this camera comes with the traps and this is what I use uh, for scouting uh, when I need live action for bully hogs and whatnot. But like I said, that old telescoped in scope, it's just like old flag pole. And it goes up 30 feet, but oh man, whole guy. I'm telling you guys, I couldn't be the trapper I am if it wasn't for that system right there, so. Oh. Careful now not to cut my other. That's it. Now, I ain't done this but one time. The one time I put it up in the air, and the one time I brought it down. So, it ain't that hard. I just make everything hard, you know. <laughs> Yeah, ah, ah, ah. Gotta be laughing my jokes. Well, I got the trap loaded up and the key was, the, the thing at first that what I was gonna do was, uh, I was gonna take the pig, put them on the trailer, take them up here where we're gonna place them and uh, for the buzzards. And I have, remember I had my wider trailer, so my, my plan is to try to get them as many on there as I can, hopefully all of them. And we can do that if we can get them all on the trailer then i'm hauling everything out here at one time so uh anyway let me load them up real quick and uh get my work out in I kind of took my breath out, son. Oh, smokes. Whew. I got him. I got him loaded up, son. Whew, wait. Anyway. Oh. How you doing this morning, buddy? How you doing? See all that action going on? You want one of these hogs? Weave him up. Whew, man. I'm tired. All right. Well, I got a few straps on the ground over there. 
few straps on the ground over there. And, uh, oh, whew. All right. I'm a lot of breath, a lot of breath. Do this one. Drag him out. Be all right. Well, I was coming over here and I was going to cut his feeder back on for him. You can't maybe can't see in there. Ooh, there's something in there. That's on I don't know what he is, but he likes thing you can bust your head. Come on. Anyway, what y'all think about old boys? Hog proof feeder. Hog proof means he can't tear that up. They can't dig at and I don't say they can't dig it out of the ground. I've seen hogs do a lot, but he said it's got a lot of quick creed in there and uh, whatnot. But as far as hog proof, what we call that is they can't tear your feeder up. So anyway, like I said, I was going to cut his feeder back on for him. But I don't think I am now. I might get stung. But there's still plenty of corn here. And he he got a camera over it and whatever. He can check it out. Anyway, we headed on. We're just going to get rid of these hogs off the trailer. And then we headed on. And uh, But let me know what you think about that hog proof feeder. I know some of y'all got some ideas of what y'all use and whatnot, but uh, I thought it was pretty cool myself. Now, oh, and one more thing. I call that an eye beam because if you look at the end of it, it looks like an eye. But if you roll it over, it looks like an H. People kept telling me on some of my other posts, I was talking about the eye beam, and they're like, that's an H beam. Depending on which way you roll it, it's an I or it's an H. <laughs> <laughs> Probably neither one of us can get through the alphabet. <laughs> so anyway, is it an I beam or H beam? Y'all let me know. <sighs> I just wanted to tell y'all why I'm getting out of here. That my I've got my boots still on, and it smells like hog poo. Not just hog, but hog poo. <sighs> my wife will love it. Well, I'm about to finish up this old thing. I got a. Close the gate up and whatnot, and we'll be out of here. So uh, kind of see what the rest of the day holds. But you know, yours, O Lord, is greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now, our God, we give thanks and praise your glorious name. I shall not stop speaking of God. Many try to tell me that I shouldn't. I would get more followers. I could do this. I'm believing in fairy tales. But the thing is, I believe in what I want. I believe Jesus come here and died for our sins, rose on the third day. Whew. He is the one that I talk to daily. He is the one that I follow and ask for wisdom. Ask for strength for the many days that I fail on many things that I do. I will not always be the greatest. I will not always give my 100, but I will always pray for forgiveness and thankfulness, and I will keep the faithfulness. That's who I am, and that's where I am. But any which way, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Yawk Yawk Show. It was quick and sweet and just a few old spotted pigs. Not the one I wanted, but we all don't always get what we want. Come on. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. Oh!